Good morning. It's the uh, 8th of uh, March and Small Biz uh, David here. One of the questions I'm asking today is why are you an entrepreneur? I get that question uh, asked of me uh, many, many times over the years. I think that uh, the best answer that I can give to that question is ingrained in the entrepreneur's pledge, uh, a pledge that I took, oh, at least three years ago. Uh, the pledge was created by the Kauffman Foundation in Kansas City, the Entrepreneurship Foundation. So there would be nobody better uh, who could create uh, an entrepreneurship pledge uh, than uh, the McCoffman Foundation. And you can actually go to a uh, website, buildastrongeramerica.com, buildastrongeramerica.com, and you can take the pledge. I took the pledge uh, just uh, – it was brought to my attention. I said, well, geez, I really want to see what an entrepreneur's pledge is. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur for over 40 years, uh, and I wanted to see what a pledge was all about. And when I went there, I was just totally amazed at the pledge and how it, it, it totally encompassed everything that I believe, everything that I do uh, with regards to uh, my being an entrepreneur and and the life that I live and the business that I get involved in uh, and the commitments that I make, uh, not only to myself, uh, but to the community at large. And you'll see that in the pledge. So let's, uh, let, me, let me read the pledge, and um, I may make some editorial comment uh, along the way, but um, here we go. The Entrepreneur's Pledge. I am an entrepreneur. I am following a dream, pursuing an opportunity, taking charge of my own destiny. I am bringing something of value to society, making a job for myself and for others, and creating wealth that benefits my family, my community, my country, my world. I am one of a movement of millions of entrepreneurs and innovators who made America great and who will keep our economy going and growing. I am what I am because many people have helped me along this journey. Therefore, and here's my commitment, I will tell my story, sharing my successes and failures so that others taking the entrepreneurial path can learn. I will strive to mentor an uh, aspiring entrepreneur I will make my voice heard by those who make policy decisions that affect me and my business. I appreciate and celebrate my accomplishments and the accomplishments of all my fellow entrepreneurs. I will give back to the society that helped me to be successful. I will build a stronger America. It, I, I, I am in total awe every time that, uh, that I read this pledge. And I, and I like to, to review it oh, every four to six weeks uh, because it uh, inspires me, invigorates me, energizes me. And uh, I want to share that with you because the true spirit my true spirit of entrepreneurship is encompassed in every one of these uh, 
statements of what I am and statements of my commitment and what I will do. Let's, uh, I want to quickly go back and, and, and talk about some of these things and, and, and show you how we're doing them. Uh, I am an entrepreneur. It's a pretty straightforward statement. Following a dream. Uh, entrepreneurship uh, starts with a dream. Uh, and in fact, uh, if you follow me, you know that a company that I started uh, seven or eight years ago is called Dreaming with Entrepreneurs. I got the name. I'm sure it was on a Monday night uh, after I had watched a television show, reality television show called Dancing with the Stars. I awakened in the middle, literally in the middle of the night, which I not unusual for me. On that particular night, well, this is the middle of the night, uh, I said, dreaming with entrepreneurs. I want that name. So I literally uh, rushed down to my computer and I went to GoDaddy and I bought the name uh, Dreaming with Entrepreneurs. The dream was going to be that, uh, as I initially used those words, the dream was going to be for me to create uh, a small business reality television show. This was my goal and objective. I actually started that journey not too long after that time uh, where I had an internet radio show a long time ago uh, before it was fashionable to have an internet radio show. I started to produce small business television shows. It was reality television because it was happening at the moment, at the time. Uh, they were I produced about 65 shows uh, on public access television here in Cincinnati uh, at a uh, public access uh, television here in Cincinnati it's called Media Bridges. I spent um, over two years, well, actually about including my radio show that I did at Media Bridges and my television show was uh, close to three years. I've actually shared some of those uh, television shows with you, and we'll go back then. They were, I, I'm very, very proud uh, of those uh, shows that we did, um, and uh, we'll go back to them, and I'll share some of those with you uh, uh, in the future. Uh, when it says I am bringing something of value to society, it's not just to society, but it's to uh, the marketplace. One thing that I, uh, my major uh, mission, if you will, right now, uh, is my commitment to the Startup America Partnership. The Startup America Partnership is a partnership between the United States government, the people, you and I, uh, with uh, private business. Uh, a year ago, January 31st, it's January 31st, 2012. Uh, the Kaufman Foundation, here we go with the, the Kaufman Foundation again, and the Steve Case Foundation. Uh, Steve Case uh, is, was a successful entrepreneur uh, who started, co-started, co co-founded uh, America Online, which evolved to AOL, which evolved to AOL Time Warner, Time Warner AOL, whatever. And uh, Steve uh, does a lot of uh, great things with uh, uh, the resources of his foundation. And one of the things that he and the Kaufman Foundation, they got together uh, and represented uh, private business in this country in the Startup America Partnership. I was sitting at my desk uh, that day, actually literally uh, January 31st, 2012. I got an email at about uh, 10 o'clock saying that 11 o'clock that day, there's going to be a major announcement of the Startup America Partnership. I said, wow. Uh, and then knowing that the Kaufman Foundation was involved, and I, I knew that it was going to be something very, very significant. So that day at 11 o'clock, uh, when I was live streaming, as I was doing every day uh, back then, I went on. I did a live stream from this camera and uh, focused on 
that screen, and uh, we actually li witnessed live, real time, the announcement of the Startup America Partnership. That afternoon, uh, I sent emails to the Kauffman Foundation, to the Steve Case Foundation, uh, to the Startup America Partnership with an address I got, uh, and also to the to the White House. Uh, they got involved and they had an email address, so I made my commitment, the commitment being that David's Barter community, which was an evolving, growing, uh, work in progress, community in progress, whatever resources we could devote and dedicate uh, to the Startup America Partnership, we would. We, 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 we feel the pain of not enough jobs being created in this country to that point. Today, just today, I got an email earlier, uh, and uh, in the month of February, there were 237,000 new jobs created, the best month of job creation that we've seen in uh, probably three years. Once again, the Kauffman Foundation told us about three years ago that if our country, our economy was going to get back to any sense of normalcy, uh, we would have to create 300,000 new jobs for a period of 36 consecutive months. We haven't been doing that, but uh, for the last three months, maybe four months, each month it's been getting better and stronger. We are building a stronger America. We're not there yet, but we're building. And guess what? New businesses, and this was going to be our commitment that we, uh, of our community, of the Small Biz David Foundation, of David's Barter Community, uh, that our resources uh, are in the area, our strongest resources are in the area of social marketing and social network technology. And we were going to take those resources and test them, try them, make them work for us, and in doing so, share those resources with you so that you could uh, start a business in a very simple, efficient form. Where it goes from there, it's up to you, and it's up to the value that you bring to the marketplace and what you can do to make this world a better place to live. That's what uh, people look for uh, in businesses. That's why they decide to do business with you because you're bringing value either to their personal life or to their business life. Okay, um, there are millions of entrepreneurs and I am proud, proud uh, to be a 40 plus year member uh, of that very, very important group. And I am what I am for sure because many people have helped me along in my journey. I can't do it by myself. I can't achieve my goals and objectives by myself. I need the help of others. So I welcome with, with open arms uh, any help that that uh, somebody might uh, decide to 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 work with us to give us, uh, and so I will tell my story, which I do uh, at uh, YouTube, at Google Plus. Uh, every day uh, I either tell my story at YouTube or I tell it at Google Plus or both, uh, and I create landing pages, new landing pages, and. David's Barter community. Uh, I talk about my successes. I talk about my, I don't like to use the word failure. Uh, I talk about my not so successful uh, business. And I've had a lot of them. I've had a tremendous amount. I've been able to survive, but I, uh, it's, it's been very, very challenging along the way uh, as small business is. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, right now, uh, I, I'm feeling uh, the worst, uh, some, some business pain that I have never felt in my 40 years. Uh, but we figure it out. Uh, we learn from our mistakes. Uh, you can make a, a mistake once. We all make mistakes. 
sometimes you can make it a second time and it doesn't cause uh, irreparable damage. You make a mistake, the same mistake a third time uh, and it's probably going to be critical uh, to the future of whatever, whatever it is you're doing. I will strive to mentor an aspiring entrepreneur. I will strive to mentor thousands of entrepreneurs. Right now, our major objective as a community is not only to get uh, entrepreneurs who might be baby boomers. Baby boomers are very important to what it is that we are doing because they have years of business experiences and business successes. But as important, or more important, more important than uh, folks who are of age are folks, uh, students of entrepreneurship. So we are making uh, our social marketing, social network technology available to students. Uh, by the way, if uh, you know, if you would like to help us in that effort, uh, a, a, a small commitment, uh, financial commitment on your part will help students to learn, get involved, get hands-on, interact with our entrepreneurship development training program uh, that we have developed uh, that ties in very directly uh, with the next book that uh, I am, uh, well, the book that I am working on right now. I call it a book, but it's truly a YouTube video ebook uh, using uh, all or as many of technologies as I possibly can uh, to communicate the message and engage individuals. We want to share these experiences uh, with students of entrepreneurship, elementary uh, students in grades 6 through 8, uh, secondary students, high school students, uh, grades 9 through 12, uh, college and university students. In the last seven years approximately, maybe a little bit longer, I have been actively involved with working with students of entrepreneurship in each one of these groupings. And the students of entrepreneurship are truly the future of entrepreneurship and the future of small business in this country. The choice to uh, use those skills, those entrepreneurship skills uh, from within, to use them very constructively to start a business is one of the most important decisions an individual can make. It's as important as looking for a job because you can't look for a job unless there are businesses where you can look for that job. It has to be done uh, in, uh, in, in, in the same fashion, it has to be thought about, the mindset uh, has to be the same. And I challenge uh, those college graduates, uh, ones who have graduated particularly in the last three or four years, uh, who are looking for jobs in their educational uh, areas. Many, many graduates cannot find those jobs. We are finding that one of the major sources of new business startups uh, in this country are young college graduates who maybe they wanted to find a job, gain some experience before they started a business, but now because the jobs have not been there, they're starting businesses. I will make my voice heard by those who make policy decisions. Uh, I do that basically through uh, my uh, membership in the NFIB, National Federation of Independent Business, Business, the voice of small business. Uh, I'm a dues-paying member uh, of that group, and uh, that's what they do. They make the voice of small business heard in Washington and all 50 of the state capitals. So that's how I do it. 
Uh, I don't make very many political statements. They can do a much better job than I can. And what they do, it's not just an organization uh, making up ideas. These are folks that there's over 300,000 members of the NFIB, dues-paying members like myself, uh, and they send out to us questionnaires and surveys so that they know what our feelings are, so that they can best respond to the needs of small business owners. Nobody does a better job than the National Federation of Independent Business. And I thank them for that. Uh, I will appreciate and celebrate my accomplishments and the accomplishments of all my fellow entrepreneurs. Any entrepreneur who wants to share their feelings, wants to share their thoughts, wants to share their ideas, contact Small Biz David at David's Barter. Go to the smallbizdavidfoundation.org. Uh, on the home page, there's a red box uh, in the, on the right-hand side of the page. It's uh, uh, an ability for you to send me directly an email that I promise you I will read it and I promise you I will respond to it. Uh, so if you have a question about entrepreneurship or you want to share your entrepreneurship experiences, we have many, many ways that that can be done. I need all the help I can get. I will give back to society to help me make, uh, help me to be successful. Uh, that's what's happening. That's what I'm all about. That's what the Small Biz David Foundation is all about and David's part of the community. I will build a stronger America. I will do my part in helping to build a stronger America. When people ask me why am I an entrepreneur, I either read them or refer them to uh, the Entrepreneurship Pledge. Please take a moment and go to buildastrongeramerica.com and you take the pledge.